when I play in the subway, everybody watches me, but at the same time, I watch everybody. Sometimes people don't believe that the sound is actually coming from the saw. My name is Natalia Peruz, but everyone calls me the saw lady. I used to be a dancer. I was a trainee with the Martha Graham Dance Company and one day I was coming back from Lincoln Center and I crossed the street and I was hit by a car and that was the end of my dance career. My parents wanted to cheer me up so they thought they would take me to Austria. While in Austria, we went to see a show for tourists and in it there was a guy playing a saw. And it was the first time that I or my parents have ever seen such a thing. And I was mesmerized. It was the first time since the accident that something other than dance actually interested me. The fact that it's one of the only instruments that when you play it, the entire instrument moves. If you think of a violin or a cello, the bow moves, but the body of the instrument is stable. Whereas with the saw, the bow moves and the entire blade moves and creates like wave-like shapes in the air as you play it. It's very visual and it's basically like dance. So that's why I was attracted to it and I just felt this fire inside of me like, oh, I want to learn how to play this. I started playing outdoors on the streets. Um, the way it happened was I used to have this job as a souvenir salesperson at the Broadway shows. So I used to bring the saw to work with me and on my free time I would go and sit outside of the theater. There was a um, parking lot there and I sat at the remote corner of the parking lot. I didn't want to bother anybody, you know, I just wanted to practice, learn how to play the saw. But one day this guy and his son came over and they stood next to me listening for a while and then the guy took a five dollar bill out of his pocket and handed it to me and I was like why are you giving me money and he said well we really enjoyed hearing you play and we want to show our appreciation so when winter came rain snow cold I didn't want to stop playing but I couldn't continue to play on the street so that's when I first ventured down into the subway and I didn't know anything about playing in the subway so I was kind of trepidatious, but I said to myself, oh, well, I'm just going to go into the subway. I'm going to set up and if I don't like it, okay, I don't have to stay. Whenever you see hooks like these on a subway wall, that's a sign that this is a music in the New York spot. Those hooks are waiting for the banner. I started to play and the first thing that happened was I noticed the acoustics. The acoustics in the New York City subway is the best ever. And I can tell you because I've played at some of the best concert halls in the world. I've played at Carnegie Hall, at uh, Lincoln Center, at Madison Square Garden. Their acoustics doesn't even begin to compare with that of the subway. There are only 28 locations within the subway where you can schedule and you call the office once every two weeks and you tell them which location, which day, which time you would like to have and then they issue you with a schedule card. So that spot is reserved for you. Now the reason why I like it is because when I used to freelance, I would spend like a whole hour on just finding a location. I would have my mind set on a particular location. I'll get there. It's taken. So I go to another location. It's taken. And meanwhile, I'm schlepping my gear up and down stairs. By the time I finally find a vacant spot, I am so exhausted that, you know, having a space that is allocated to me is a huge help to, to the buskers. For me, Anytime I feel like playing, all I have to do is step out of my house and, you know, the world is my stage. I don't have to wait for a gig. I can create my own gig, basically. I have played in many different subway stations and 
in places where there are no subways than on the streets. Uh, in Italy, in the Czech Republic, in Poland, in Israel, um, and maybe other places I can't think of at the moment. Um, and it's, it's always a wonderful experience. However, out of all the different subway systems that I played at, I love the New York City subway the best. <laughs>